Tom Norcross, president of the Load King Trailers. Today we're going to talk about the Load King 65 ton signature series. As you can see, just like on our 55 and 60 ton, we taper the gooseneck. So in case the neck falls when the drive is coming out from underneath, you're not going to lose your air electric hydraulics. We did move the glad hands apart, put the seven way in the middle. As you can see, this one's set up for a 66 inch flip box. Takes us out to 175 inch swing. Uh, this one happens to be hydraulic. We'll demonstrate that in just a second. As I said earlier, this happens to be hydraulic flip neck. Controls right here, conveniently located. So what I'm going to do now, we have a 13 horse power Honda motor in the base mount. We're going to start that, bring the neck over. on the other side. We'll lower the neck down, lock it in place. Obviously this is for use when you're using a key. Same thing, just put the pins back in, lock them into place. We would do the same thing on the other side. You're set to go to use with the Jeep to run this in a 2-3-2 two, two scenario. So you can absolutely get the 65 tons it's designed to haul. Okay, as you can see, we're using the same exact frame jack we use on the 55-60. We're not gonna get away from that. It again, goes the full width of the truck frame with these cleats on the inside, so the neck's not gonna slide when you're reattaching the gooseneck. Here we have the selector valve. If you have a wet kit, you simply move this to self-contained or wet kit. We also have what we call pressure intensifier. Obviously when you're trying to lift 130,000 pounds, might need a little help. This pressure intensifier will help you do that, pushes more pressure through the system so you don't get lag time when you're lifting. Same thing as before, we have the liquid-filled weight gauge on the gooseneck. All the controls are here, and just like any other trailer, you unlock the pin, follow it back in that V-trough, comes detached, drop the pin down, goes back in the V-trough, connects. Again, keeping with the theme of the 55 and 60 ton signature series, this has the same options. Spring assist front ramp, very easy to roll over and back. Here you can see we put six Grouser bars. Same thing here, recessed airlines with the detent so they're not gonna come undone. Seven way plug. They also have, we also have a female plug down there and quick connect, so in case somebody leaves these connected. Again, if you see it on our 55 and 60 signature series, you'll see it here. Again, you're just gonna see the same things over and over, except this time we use a three inch Apatone deck. You're still gonna see the pure steel. We've added D-rings. Again, you're gonna see the full depth outriggers from the upper flange to the lower flange. And we've now gone standard throughout our lineup with upper flange reinforcement. Again, you've seen it on the 55 and 60, you're gonna see it on the 65 ton. Again, you'll see our signature chain slots. Same thing throughout the signature lineup, 3 8 half inch chain, four inch strap. Here's where the big difference comes in. This is a 28 foot modular deck. Modular meaning it can detach the deck from the subframe. You have your horizontal pins, and then you have your shims here. So you can add a four foot deck extension to this and the nice thing is, is you always start shimming here because the amount of shim, the wider the shim, the more weight you're going to push to the back and vice versa. We always run it with a half inch shim empty. You have these shims here so you can either add or take away. And again, the whole idea when shimming anything is everybody knows, you just want to keep everything level. No peaks, no valleys as you go through, always start shimming up here. And here you can see from the deck to the subframe, we do double wall this. We triple pass everywhere on this. And then we run flush mount bolsters so you're even with the upper flange. And again, this is just like the 55 and 60 ton. You see the taper here, nothing above the upper flange. You've got your toggle switch here for the strobe. All your own electric in one panel, four bolts. Simply remove that and you can get to everything. Same thing over here, we have our four-way plug, 
third axle lift here. This is the regulated uh, manual, manual rate and lower valve. Put it in the regulated position. Unlike the other folks, push-pull design. Pull up, increases the air in the bag. Push down, decreases the air in the bag. Always goes back to the neutral position. If you forget and leave this in the regulated position, still not going to overinflate or deflate. It'll stay right there. Again, these are all the things we've done throughout to make it easy for the driver, easy for your maintenance personnel. Another thing we'll talk about is the beehive light on each corner. We did that so your driver can see the rear of the trailer. Obviously, this trailer here is no exception. As with all our trailers, we try to incorporate all the features and all the benefits that you've asked us for over the years. You can visit us today at LoadKingMFG.com or CustomTruck.com and we certainly look forward to hearing from you and telling you all about this great trailer.